Greetings, everyone. Hey, 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 welcome. I'm Prophetess Dr. Yvette Young. God bless you as you are coming in. Welcome to you. I hope you are feeling amazing. I hope all is well and I pray all is well with you and your family. God bless you. God bless you. It is 144 Central Standard Time welcome you please put up your region where you are jumping in from and let me know how you're doing we just going to pray guys i told you i'm going to be popping in and out to pray with you i'm going to be popping in and out to pray with you hey daniel i'm waiting on you to call me hey sister lashon god bless you hallelujah hallelujah so we're going to be praying everybody and i just want to encourage you Wherever you are, wherever you are, we want to come together. I believe in the God who answers by fire. I believe in God Almighty. He is answering prayers in, our, in this season that we are in. I'm super excited for you and all that God is doing. He is doing a lot. He is doing so much, guys. I did not get much sleep last night. Um... I did prayer last night and then I tried to get some work done. I didn't go to sleep till about two and then I woke back up about four. Um, I had an emergency phone call, so we were up praying. And so guys, look, that's just how it is. Rolling around this clock and doing the work of the Lord. I'm super excited. Amen. Come on in if you can. I don't know if people where you are. I don't know if you're driving. Be safe. Amen. If you're at work, don't get in trouble. But I just want to pop in and pray. Hey, Sister Blanche, God bless you. Africa in the house. Hallelujah to God. I want you to know that as we are coming before the Lord, um, we're coming together in unison, in agreement. And there's so much power when we come together. There's so much power when we come together. And so whatever it is that you are experiencing right now in your life, whatever it is, um, don't forget to come uh, to my website. I want you to send the prayer request to prayer at God's Royal Women .org. So when you send them, what happens is I get a lot of them. So immediately I print them out so that they are on my desk in my altar. So when they are there, I am praying over them, praying over them, praying over them, declaring over them, decreeing over them, prophesying over them. So get it in if you can get it in it'll be in my altar my god so again i want to pray for everybody i'm excited for what god is doing in all of our lives we crossed over january 20 20 2023 and uh, you know so many people uh didn't cross over with us many went home to be with the lord some were premature and it was not their time. So we want to keep the prayers coming forth for everybody. So the reason I want you to get those prayer requests in, uh, you know, you need to get those prayers going forth over your life. We want to stop the plans of the enemy, um, which or, uh, you know, to steal, kill and destroy. Everybody know that John chapter 10, 10, uh, the thief coming out, but to steal. What is he coming to steal? He's coming to steal your peace your joy, your mind, amen, your emotions. He's coming to steal your money. He's coming to steal your health. He's coming to steal your marriage. He's coming to steal your health, uh, 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 your children, your future, and your destiny, okay? So the thief can only steal. He can only rob, all right? And then you have the killers. So the killers are out today, uh, and they are sending all sorts of tools and weapons to kill uh, to destroy people's lives and you have the other category which are the destroyers and the destroyers uh, Apollyon, uh, Abaddon and they are over uh, this particular region where they hold people captive and they bring death in their lives so just because a person is breathing it does not mean that they are alive okay they can be in a region of captivity and I'll come back and get into that for the people of God but I want to pray here quickly and I'm going to go over to my other page because that page is a little bit more active. So I want to be where it's active. So I'll be back 
on my other page, okay? So that we can also pray and everybody is reached. Amen. When you are praying to God, you are bringing your complaints to the Lord. Remember, um, we have an advocate, yes, with the Father. Also, Jesus is our intercessor. Jesus is our attorney. Jesus is our attorney, okay? So whatever it is that you're going through in your life, first, first go to, amen, the higher court system. First go to the higher court system, right? Let me drop this into your spirit quickly. Uh, maybe some of you are waiting on an answer. You're waiting on God to do something. You're waiting, uh, you know, for heaven to respond on your behalf. Quickly, let me show you how I do this. I frequent the courts often. Um, I just deal there judicially. I deal with the court systems because down here in the earth realm, if you stay here, your prayers would be complaining prayers. It would be prayers like, oh God, I need you to help me. Oh God, the enemy is doing this. Oh God, the enemy is doing that. So it becomes just a lot of complaints, a lot of weariness, right? You're not really lifting off. So if we can pray judicially, this is going to help us to get a lot done much quicker okay so i'm going to come back and teach that those of you who don't have dynamic power prayer this is a judicial dimensional spiritual warfare book we teach you how to pray dimensionally because if you don't know how to pray that you're down here in the earth and you're not really getting through all right so again um i asked god a lot of questions concerning prayer and he helps us to understand, you know, how people are actually going to get the prayer through and how they're going to get the results that they need. So they're not just begging and whining and complaining. OK, so we are bringing our complaints even against the enemy. We're bringing our complaints. We're petitioning uh, God maybe for a financial or a healing, uh, any other type of desire. And we're going to the divine heavenly court system. So that, you know, God can look into the cases. We have our attorney, attorney, Jesus Christ is looking into the cases. The Holy Spirit is there with us to help us because Jesus, we need the testimony of the blood of Jesus to speak for us. Somebody say, I need the blood of Jesus to speak for us. Why do you need the blood of Jesus to speak for you? I want to teach you this quickly, quickly, quickly. And I do teach this in spiritual warfare course. So if you are interested, I do have a course one-on-one -on -one with you, my husband and I as well. We get together and we minister and we teach and we answer all the questions. So I want to go real fast. I want to go real fast because I don't have the time. You don't have the time, but I want to help somebody. So we need the blood of Jesus to speak for us. But let me tell you, the way that we taught, we were taught it was that we just walk around and plead the blood, right? We plead the blood, but people did not understand that a pleading, uh, these are court terminologies. Somebody say court terminology. So we're pleading. Amen. And so there is a time where uh, David began to pray and he asked the Lord to plead his cause, to plead his cause, meaning that there was a lot of accusations against him. There was a lot of things that his enemies were accusing him of, right? And not only accusing him, his enemies were chasing him. His enemies will not let him sleep. His enemies were on him tooth and nail, okay? So many times when your enemy is encroaching around your life, they are fighting your money. They are fighting your family. They are fighting your mind. I'm going to help you guys to get some things done in this season. I'm going to help you. I'm going to help you, okay? So when you are petitioning God, the reason you need the petition, the reason you need to go into the court system is because there is an accuser of the brethren. Come on, somebody. The Bible tells us that day in and day out, there is an accuser of the brethren. And I want to tell you what I know. The gospel truth is that the enemy is holding things, even on your ancestors that are dead and gone. And there are things that the enemy is holding to in the court system. And some of those rulings could be impacting your life negatively today. There are people who have contempt of court. There are people who have contempt of court. What does that mean? What does that mean? 
if somebody in your life right now is accusing you of something or accusing uh, you, it could have been years ago, right? Because you have to monitor the affairs of your life. This is what I learned. This is what I learned. I learned this, that, um, you know, there's a right and a wrong way. The reason that demonic powers harass a lot of believers and they continue to do it over and over and the believer is underneath, amen, uh, a, a lot of warfare where the enemy is coming from left, right, center. Yeah, it's because we have to check around our lives to make sure we have to cross check everything to make sure there is nothing the enemy have on us. Man, I tell you, this right here, this right here, this right here, this, this, only, this is only for the bride. I tell you, because when the enemy have something on us, remember the court reporters. Yep. There are also reporters that are reporting what's going on in our lives. There are what you call watchers that are watching. There, there are archives and databases. You can close the doors. All right. You can walk. That's fine. And so these types of things, I'm going to come back and talk to you. I want to come back and talk to you because there's a lot of things that's going on around people's lives. And if we don't understand, we're going to continue to pray ineffectively. And I want you all to be effective. The Bible says that the fervent prayer, the heated prayer, right? The, the effective, fervent prayer prayer of a righteous man avail it much so when the enemy has something on us that we did that was unrighteous you said something you did something you thought something and a lot of times people don't understand that the devil can pick up on your thoughts let me expose this let me explain it to you how can the spiritual world pick up on your thoughts this is how it happens your thoughts are spiritual your thoughts are not just your thoughts within yourself. Everything right now is working according to fields, fields, magnetic fields, everything. We are not just physical beings. This here body is holding our spirit, guys. But we come out of our body when we go to sleep. Yes. And in the realm of the spirit, when you go to sleep, when you go to sleep, you are seeing all kinds of things. You are interacting uh, with civilizations. You're interacting with people. You're interacting with powers. You're interacting uh, with beings uh, and creatures, right? Yeah, many of you are. Many of you are. And as you are interacting, as you are interacting, it is not your physical body. It is your spiritual body. I'm giving y'all some keys. And because you are able, your spirit is able to do things that your physical body cannot do as of right now. Because your physical body has not been glorified yet. But your spirit, Lord Jesus, is able to come out and interact. This is how people are able to take trips to heaven. This is how people go through portals and go through all kinds of of um you know centuries back and um, people are 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 seeing a lot of things that happen they they are planted in maybe 30 generations ago or uh, god can take you back uh all the way to the garden of eden god can pull you up into the realm of heaven yes he can God can take you and allow the angels to take you on um, an expedition or an excursion through the realm of the spirit. So a lot of times, you know, the church, we talk about the, the witches are flying. Do you think that the witches and the warlocks and the people who do the dark arts are the only ones that can fly? Oh, Lord Jesus. We going to, oh, my yada. Rebe, shoko, payala, kosia. Do you think that? People who learned, learned the spiritual realm by Satan. You think that Satan has uh, or the original knowledge? You think Satan has original wisdom? Satan is a counterfeit. He counterfeits the original. He counterfeits the original. The original is the almighty God. Oh, come on. Talk back to me, y'all. Talk back to me. So... So this is why the Lord tells us 
that we should mount up on wings. We are supposed to be in a position of taking on wings. So we are supposed to interact with higher dimensions, higher realms. Hey, and so with that being said, I'm trying to slow myself down. I didn't want to preach, but I feel it. And uh, with that being said, there are higher realms where we are interacting. And there is a heavenly court system. Just as you go right now to the courts for uh, whatever you, you have a ticket, someone sued you, uh, you have all types of claims, all types of different things going on around your life physically. There is a lower echelon that deals with the realms of the physical. But that is only a replica of what happens in the spiritual. The Bible says, if you have ought in your heart to anyone, he says, I want you to leave your gift at the altar. Go back and rectify it. God is saying that I don't want any one of you to be going to court on each other because we are placed in a position where we are going to judge even angels judge angels so he did not want us to deal with physical matters so to speak so much like the world he wanted us to deal in the spiritual realms yes that's how he wanted our lives to uh, you know interact with one another and interact with the higher dimensions yes that's what that means so we want to pray effectively if there is something in your life there are damages around your life harassment around your life you need something from god you need reconciliation for your relationships you need monetary uh, uh financial uh releases over your life uh you need mercy uh you need justice for anything oh i feel this god is helping us today hallelujah to god god is going to help us to learn how we're going to get through this year and if you have a complaint for someone in your life or you have a complaint against the enemy for something he did or if he watches he put something on you or deposited something in your life my god if he deposited something in your life hallelujah you can go into the courts of heaven and get a verdict release my god because a lot of times we are fighting battles and when the enemy have a legal right or a legal ground he wins the battle or he will continue to keep you in a battle too long because there is a legality that you have not yet found out about where y'all at mm, talk back talk back to me y'all talk back to me so the lord is teaching me um so that i can be able to teach you to help you um get through in a massive way in this season i'm talking about massive I'm talking about massive, massive. Um, I feel excitement in my spirit for you um, because if you learn the protocol, you're going to get somewhere. One of the last, this is the last thing I want to share with you before I pray for you and let you go. One of the things that I'm so grateful to God Almighty for teaching me the power of repentance, the power of repentance. I'm so grateful. Back in the day, we used to say, God, forgive me for my sin. Forgive me for my sin. Forgive me for my sin. And it was never itemized. It was just generalized. And um, we didn't feel any type of remorsement for it. We didn't feel any type of conviction. We just was saying, forgive me for my sin. And we go on. And sometimes we find ourselves repeating the same thing over and over and over and over and over. And then that thing became a bondage. And so... Um, the Lord began to teach me about itemizing, itemizing, yes, uh, repenting for things that the Holy Spirit will bring up to me, okay? And so the thing is, is this, when the Holy Spirit bring it up to me, because a lot of times we don't remember what happened. We don't, we don't. I don't care how old of you, you don't remember everything 
that happened each and every day. And so the Lord began to help me to understand how to get the blood released on over my life, the blood of Jesus released. And so I'm so excited to be able to help you all um, and, um, you know, help instruct you all how we're going to get through, how we're going to get answers to prayer, how we're going to win our court cases in the realms of the spirit, how we're going to get the verdicts released over our lives is going to be absolutely amazing. If someone is accusing you of something, if someone have, is doing something, violating the word of God, I want to teach you the court terminology of how you're going to break through and get all the way out in this season. So do not go to war when there are legalities against you square the legalities away and then go to war yeah why because when you are covered when you are covered hey sister martha good to see you when you are covered by the blood of jesus yeah you can go to war and get everything that was taken from you for the thief cometh not but the steal kill destroy but jesus have come that you may have life and life more abundantly. I want to pray for you today. I have so much. Let me show you. I got all of this here. It's a pack. It's a pack that I I, I just, you know, I couldn't get to. But it's okay. I want to come back in and break it open for you all. That you see that, you know, I do my work. Y'all, I got my scriptures. I got everything here. But in this book, this is the judicial way of praying. You can get that. And, um, you know, just try to get ahead of the game. You know, you, you need it written down so you can read it, underline it, highlight it, memorize it, you know, rehearse it so that you can understand it. Um, so, again, as I was saying, one of the things the Lord taught me was, you know, the prayer of repentance is so powerful. It's so powerful. The reason the Bible tells us that David was a man after God's own heart was simply because he was a man of repentance. David was a man of repentance. Um, David was jacked up in a lot of his areas. If you go and read his life, go and read his bibliography, you will find out that David did a lot of jacked up things, right? That was not becoming of a man of God. But the scripture, you hear everybody say David was a man of God's own heart because he would fall down and cry out to God and say, please forgive me of my sin. I was wrong. I did this. I acknowledge that I pursued what I wasn't supposed to pursue. I did something I wasn't supposed to do. So David was a man after God's own heart. And you know, if anything I want God to say about me is that I'm a woman of God's own heart. I want his heart. Amen. And so in this season, guys, we're not just looking for his hand. He's going to release his hand after we get the kingdom, the power and the glory, the kingdom, the power and the glory. I don't know about you. I don't want to just stop at the power. I don't want to just stop at the kingdom. I want the kingdom, the power and the glory for thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory. Hallelujah. And he is looking to glorify us. Hallelujah to Jesus. And I'm so excited for for every one of you in this season. I'm so excited. We're just going to begin to plead the frequency of the blood of Jesus in the courts. I want you to see yourself in the courts of heaven. I want you to see yourself pleading for the blood. A lot of times as you are, you know, fighting with the enemy, sometimes the enemy has something on you. All you need to do, all you need to do is repent and plead the blood. I say repent and plead the blood. There's something I want to teach this generation. Hallelujah to God. There's something this generation have to understand. If you're going to have intervention, if you're going to have a relationship with the divine, you're going to have to know how he operates. You're going to have to understand his protocol. Oh, and that is my quest to understand how to treat the king of kings or how to get him to watch this, lay down his scepter and and say, come, 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 come. Oh my God. Oh my God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I pray for you today. I pray for your family today. Oh yeah. Agree with your adversary because he will take you before the judge. And then once the judge get on the case and you have contempt of court, honey, Oh, it becomes a serious issue. It becomes a serious issue. Oh, my God. May you bring revelation 
to the people, hallelujah, of the flock of the Almighty. Mare Shura Bakati. Meriando Shabrakatu Yelemendia. Thank you, God, for the revelation. Thank you for uh, knowledge and helping us, God, in this season. Thank you, Lord God, for downloading what it is that we need. Because the enemy, the enemy of our soul, the enemy of our destiny is trying one way or the other to stop us, to steal from us, to kill us, and to destroy us. God Almighty, as we come before you today, God, we're asking, Lord God, for you to keep your hand upon us. We humble ourselves so that we can be underneath the shadow of the Almighty. We want to be in your pavilion. Oh, my God, in that secret place of the Most High, where we will abide there and never get out of that secret place. The dangers of us removing ourselves from the secret place. Oh, my God. The dangers of us removing ourselves from the secret place. That's where the enemy is able to exact upon us. But I pray for you today and your household, your children and your grandchildren, your businesses and your careers, your destiny and your future. I pray for you today that swiftly God will begin to move for you, answer to you, fulfill his end as you fulfill your end. May the almighty, the faithful one, hallelujah, show you his faithfulness and may you, hallelujah, continue contend for the faith people of God I bless you in the name of Jesus I pray that the all upon your life will never ever run dry I pray that you will go up and never backward never down I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth hallelujah that this will be your season of answered prayers the Bible says that you shall have whatsoever you say you shall have it because the Bible tells us that nothing is impossible to those that believe God what are you believing God to do in this season what are you believing God to do in your life it will be done if you can hold fast to your profession of faith contend for the faith mean that you're going to have the downright fight you're going to have to fight, amen, to keep your mind intact, to keep your mind in alignment with the word of God, to keep your spirit and your emotions. Yes, we are contending. We are contending because there are other contenders. There are powers that are saying and banking on you giving up, but you won't give up. I decree it over your life. You won't give up. Hallelujah. You will see your promise. You will see your promise. Let me tell you today. Uh, you will see your promise. You will see your promise. I speak it over your life tonight. Oh, you will see it. You will see it come to pass. Oh, come on. Namashotorabakata. You will see your healing. You will see your deliverance. You will see your breakthrough. You will see your marriage. You will see your family. You will see them delivered. You will see them saved. Oh, come on, somebody. You will see your promise. You will walk in your promised land. You will see your divine dream come to pass. Yo, my Say, I will see it. I will lay hold to it. I will walk in it. I will live and not die and declare the glory of God. No matter what we've been through, we are coming out on top. We are coming out on top. You need to say it over your life that I'm coming out on top. No matter who want to see me fall, say, I'm going up. I'm going up. I'm going up. I'm going up. Come on. Speak in your future. Speak in your destiny. Speak over your life. Speak over your life. You have power of life in your mouth. You have power of death in your tongue. Speak over your life. Whatever the devil has done, whatever the devil has said will not live. I decree that it will live. I declare that it will live. Your organs will 
blood will live, your mind will live, your marriage will live, your child will live, my shoulder your business will live. I decree it over your life today. Shekoro Bokotia, Reshondoro Bokoso Yelamahaya, Reku Yelaman Shokotobaya, Retete de Robokosoya, Masiete de Bokotia. I see many of you buying land. I see many people coming into wealth, coming into inheritance, coming into things you've never had before. Write it down. I see God giving you wisdom and knowledge and witty ideas, creative inventions. I see God connecting you with the right people and removing the wrong people from around your life. You're going to get a lot done this month. You're going to get a lot done. I prophesy. You're going to get a lot done in January, February, March. If the Lord Jesus tarries, you're going to get a lot done. You're going to be focused. You're going to rise in the midst of your battle. You're going to come out with the spoil of your battle. Oh, come on, somebody. I decree over you today as you leave today. Never the presence of the living God. I declare that everywhere you go, God will give it to you. God will give it to you to possess your lands. My God, my my God, my God. I'm watching everything that I say in this season. I'm watching everything that I say in this season. And I want to tell you, only say what you want to happen. Only say what you want to happen. Why? Everything around us is spiritual. I wish you can get it. I wish you can hear me. Only say what you want to happen. Because you have power of life and death in your tongue. You will eat the fruit thereof. Whatever is speaking against you. Whomever is speaking against you. Whatever counsel of the wicked is speaking against you. Uh, we utterly annihilate those tongues we decree and declare that the tongue of the wicked the tongue of the evil they are unqualified to speak over our lives and we give god the glory today for showing us his manifested power and glory hallelujah to god i want you to begin to learn how to speak to yourself uh, if there's something out of order in your life, you can change the atmosphere. You can shift it by speaking opposite of what you see. The Bible says that the just shall live by faith. Now, hallelujah to God. We walk and we live by faith. Amen. Which means if you really believe it, you will put feet and faith with it. You will put your feet. If you really believe it, you will get up and go do it. If you really believe it, you will have feet. To lead you into manifestation. You hear me? So if you believe in God for marriage, I want you to get ready for it. If you believe in God for business, I want you to start getting everything, all the details together for it. If you believe in God for one thing or the other, I need you to put feet with faith. Amen. I love you. God bless you. Thank you for joining me. Guys, I made this t-shirt today. Enlisted in God's army. And it's in metallic gold. So, hey, if you want one, let me know. Hit it up. Hit me up. I'll make it for you. God bless you. Come to GodsRoyalWomen.org. I'm doing so much, guys. I'm moving at the speed of light in this season. I'm like, oh, my God. So, we're trying to get as much done as possible. We're also working on the app. I told you guys that we're going to have our own app. And we have a lot of other things going on. So, just stay tuned. All right? I love you, too. I love you, too. God bless you. I can't wait to see you guys at the top. Keep on rising, keep on rising, keep on rising. I love you all. Amen. So don't forget every seed that you sow, all the books that you buy, it is in good ground. We are praying for you every single day. Every single day we are praying for you. But don't forget we are also in a prayer chamber every Sunday, 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. So if you can just call in. So I don't know you guys in Africa, I'm going to have to figure out a way that you can call in. I don't know. I'm to figure that out. 
um, find out that there is a, a free number or some sort where you can call in on Sunday. But the prayer chamber is is hot, you guys. I mean, you don't want to not be in the prayer chamber with us on the phone line. So God bless you all. God bless you. And I'll see you soon. Love you. <laughs>